Hey everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we will solve this very simple yet interesting question. So uh, we have been given a like RC circuit which has two capacitors with it and a single register and we have been given this input waveform which is a square waveform. So we have to find the output voltage at time equals to uh, t equals to one second right just after t equals to one second. So at first glance this may look like a second order circuit but is this really a second order circuit let's try to understand that so uh, let's uh, first try to solve this with a normal conventional method so what i'll do i will just replace the uh, this uh, vi right with a 5 volt voltage source up until t equals to one seconds okay so if i replace this with a 5 volt voltage source so this will become a 5 volt voltage source right okay and i will just copy the previous circuit And what is happening over here is that that initially capacitors are uncharged because nothing is mentioned over here so i will assume that capacitors are uncharged so if capacitors are uncharged i can easily short them right i can easily short them now if i short them what is happening over here so uh, some current will flow right some current will flow because this potential is directly applied across this potential so what will be the value of the current the value of the current will be 5 by r right 5 by r okay and 5 by r is uh, r is 1 kilo ohm so it will be 5 milliamps right 5 milliamps so 5 milliamps of current is flowing so hence this capacitor will get what so ic like ic was initially 0 now ic has gone to 5 so ic has ic 0 plus is 5 milliamps so if ic 0 plus is 5 milliamps that means what is ic defined as ic is defined as the rate of change of voltage across the capacitor so it is defined as C dvc by dt right which is equals to 5 milliamps so now we know like let's not get into C right now we know that dvc by dt is greater than 0 hence the voltage across the capacitor will increase only but like uh, I have to assume that uh, this is C1 and this is C2 so voltage across C1 is increasing but what is about this C2 what about the C2 so uh, is there any current flowing through here? This is open ended, right? This is open ended. We are just taking the output from here. So this is open ended. Hence, the current at this uh, at this uh, line, right? At this wire will be zero amperes. So current here is zero. Hence, the current here has to be also zero. So current here is zero. Obviously, whatever current is flowing, right? Whatever current is flowing totally through here. That's why that's why I calculated this five milliamp. That's how I calculated it. Okay, I didn't say it to uh, you that time uh, specifically, but that's how I got this, right? So I assume that current through here is zero because this is open ended. So the current for this uh, capacitor C2, right? It is zero milliamps. Now, if it is zero milliamps, obviously what happens is current to the capacitor is zero. That, that means there will be no rate of change of voltage. That means dvc by dt will be zero. dvc 2 by dt will be zero. Now, if dvc uh, by dt is zero, that means whatever the voltage was there previously it will remain that way so initially what was the voltage nothing is mentioned so obviously it was uncharged so vc2 will be zero only vc2 will remain zero forever okay always always right so basically this capacitor c2 has no use in the circuit they have just given it just for the sake of it okay even if there are some some register present over here that was also of no use because current through this is zero to draw across this will be zero always right so yeah now like you might say we have already seen this earlier so you, you could have seen this earlier also like uh, without this analysis just when you try to calculate the uh, r equivalent and c equivalent so how you used to calculate the r equivalent so uh, sorry c equivalent so basically what you should uh, see like how many dependent or independent capacitors are here so this is open ended right this is open ended no current is flowing through this so we can ignore this part right we can ignore this part because this is open ended and i can i will have only one capacitor from there you can directly see without even going into this analysis okay now for r equivalent we have only on one register so this will be my r equivalent so my time constant will be r into c simply right so from there also you can understand that we have only one capacitor because like input is here and this is open ended so current through here will be always zero amperes so current through here is always zero amperes no matter what whatever input you give current through here will be zero amperes now current through here is zero amperes that means this capacitor has no use because the rate of change of voltage will be zero for this capacitor and it will always remain in zero volts only okay or if there was some initially charge to this capacitor it will remain that because there is no 
discharging or charging of this capacitor capacitor basically there is no uh, path for this capacitor to release its charges or uh, absorb the charges right so that's why so this part is connected but this part is open and so charges can't flow so yeah that part is gone now what is the time constant i should write only r and c so time constant will be in this case tau will be 0.1 milliseconds right 0.1 milliseconds micro into kilo now as this is one seconds right so we have ample amount of time for this capacitor to get fully charged so obviously it was charging right with, with high rate so what will happen it will get fully charged to uh, 5 volts right 5 volts so obviously now what is the quotient asking us to find quotient is asking us to find the voltage across the capacitor at one uh, one second right just after one seconds not at one seconds so just before one second what is happening just before one second obviously this will be 5 volts right and my capacitor will be totally charged to 5 volts okay i can i can write like this that, that my capacitor is totally charged to 5 volts and this is 1 kilo ohm and this is also capacitor right and this is my output voltage okay this is at t equals to i am saying 1 minute just before 1 seconds just before 1 seconds i can say safely say that my capacitor will be ch charged to 5 volts how i because my my tau is much much lower than the time period you can say or t by 2 okay tau is much much low, lower than the t by 2 so it will get ample amount of time to get fully charged so now it gets fully charged so uh, next at this current moment can you tell me the voltage output voltage at this current moment right at this current moment the output voltage will be zero volts only you can see from this cable also or you can see through this resistor also because capacitor has reached steady state so ic will be zero so ic is zero so current through this is zero current through this is zero so resistor current is also zero so drop across this is zero and this is anyway zero voltage so vo will be zero only now what is the next thing next thing is at t equals to one plus at t equals to one plus what is happening t equals to one plus basically this capacitor is still at 5 volts because it can't change its voltage instantaneously it has to uh, have some time right to change its voltage it will try to reduce but it can't change it instantaneously so this is 1 kilo ohm and this is again vo okay vo and this is again c2 which we don't care it was one microfarad we don't care about the value of the capacitor so now what is the voltage interesting fact like voltage across the resistor will be my output voltage because this is zero voltage what is the voltage across the resistor ratio is minus 5 not plus 5 don't get confused this is minus 5 because my plus terminal is here i'm measuring my voltage from here it will be minus 5 you can or or you can take kvl okay you can use the kvl thing it will be minus vo minus 5 equals to 0 so vo will be equals to minus 5 volts okay so this will be my answer okay so the, like we can ask more interesting questions uh, from this uh, question like if you are in the interview right you, you can think of more interesting questions okay so yeah this is basically it for this video if you did do hit the like button and let me know what more topics what more questions you want want uh, in my channel right i will try to bring more questions yeah thank you for watching